What's up? It's Ben from Wildcraft, and we have a super special video today. I am going to try, fingers crossed, to teach these handsome young men how to do a ring muscle. So both of them, we, we kind of got to talking a couple weeks ago. Jake was over here. We always brainstorm different business ideas. Travis is here every single week shooting videos. And I just casually mentioned, like, hey, I can teach you guys muscle ups. And they're like, I don't know. Like, I've never done one. I don't think I can learn that. And here we are now. Today, we are going to try to teach them both how to do their very first ring muscle up. So stick around and watch this video. Leave a comment below and just let me know what you think the result of this is going to happen because we honestly have no idea. Uh, before we get going, let's do uh, just a quick intro. Travis, what do you do? Why are you here? Like, what's I do the wad prep video. He's the wad prep video guy. He's, 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 he's the one that has made all of our videos look really super sick the last few months. So uh, he's near and dear to my heart and it's so cool to actually see you. Finally in front of the camera now. I'm excited. It's very exciting. Jake, what's up, man? What up? Uh, yeah, I'm a friend of Ben's. I have my own channel. It is my name, Jake Foley. I am a power lifter. I can do muscle ups, but I have never been able to do muscle ups. Uh, muscle you can ups. do bar muscle ups. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I can do bar muscle ups, <laughs> but not ring muscle ups. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so a will link to your channel below. What do you do on your YouTube channel? I review cross training shoes, uh, apparel for men, and then also I do a lot of fitness focused content. I have a coach myself. Add an online training business, so. He's also yeah. ridiculously handsome. They're both making me look bad. Uh, so let's dig right into it. Uh, really quick, at the end of the video, regardless of the results of today, at the end of the video, I am actually gonna share a couple special free training tools that are gonna help you learn your first muscle up. So if you stick around, I will tell you where to grab those. For now, let's teach this handsome guy how to do a muscle up. The first thing I always ask people is, off the top of your head, how many strict pull-ups can you do in a row? Probably like 17 or 18. 17 or 18. My job is going to be easy, okay? So normally I'm looking for like 9 or 10 is a good baseline. What about with ring dips? Have you ever tested like how many, how many ring dips do you think you could do? No, I guess probably like a 7, 10, 12 would be awesome. Cool. Okay. So I'm again looking for like 3 or 4 in that case. I'm actually really curious. Let's just try it. Can you do a strict chest to bar pull up? Yes, you can. He can, okay? So this is going to be great. He meets all the prerequisites by far. Um, now, without having given you any muscle up instruction at all, Try one. And if you get one, great. Okay, that's really close. That's really, really close. The turnover, dude. The turnover. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the clock. This is just an arbitrary clock. We're not rushing. But I'm just really curious. How long is it going to take before you get your first muscle? I think we can do it. Do you think we can do it? That's the question. All right. So, and now we start. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take you from the high rings and we're going to move over to the low rings. And that's what we're going to practice first is that transition. The first thing I want you to work on, because you're so strong, we're going to practice the false grip. Okay? So, I have these rings set up here. Have you ever done false grip before? A little bit. I've dabbled. Okay. Alright, so all, all we're doing is basically the false grip allows us to get our wrists above the rings so that we can get up and above the rings without having to like slide our hands or do any kicking. So what I want you to do is come over here and you karate chop the rings right at the base. So karate chop so that the rings are sitting right where this crease is, okay? So karate chop. And then from here, I just want you to grab the rings. So we're trying to have the, the, the meat of your hand and wrist on top of the rings here. Got it? And then from here, so again, karate chop, grab. And then from here, I just want you to just like, you can just be here kind of in a quarter squat. I know you're allowed to have longer arms than me and you're taller. But all I want you to do from here is in the false grip, I want you to pull to your chest. Just stand up and then lean forward. Okay? So, I know it's a lot. Let's start with the false grip. And then I'll, I'll coach you through just standing up and leaning forward. So, karate chop. Very good. Yep, just like that. You'll know it's, it's working right when it feels really awkward. All right, so yeah, that's a really good false grip. And then just, yeah, anywhere you want your feet to be, kind of talk about anything you do, just pull up to your chest. And then send your head through into a dip. All right. So see how the rings came really wide. Yeah. Let's talk about the next thing. So the, the next cue that I like to teach is when you pull the rings, I want you to try to pull to your chest or your sternum, and then I want you to do the Superman. So what we're trying to do here, let me show you actually. What we're trying to do here is I want you to get in the habit of keeping the rings as close to your body as possible. Because what happened with you is as soon as you pulled up, you're like, oh, I got to go through the ring, so I'm gonna send these rings out wide. So what we want to do is do the opposite of that, so keep the rings really, really close, come to your chest, and then superman as you lean through. Okay, Okay. so let's do it just a couple reps with your feet like supporting you so that you're not putting too much pressure on your shoulders. But try that, try that um, 
pull to your sternum, Superman, and then as you're Superman, you're setting, you're literally punching your head and shoulders through that window. So pull to the chest. There you go. Good. Now this time I want you to pull through and then stop in a really deep dip. Don't stand up yet. So pull to the chest, sternum, Superman, hold that hang out there for a second, and that's it. Because what's going to happen is that when you do the muscle up, you are going to land in the deepest, gnarliest dip you've ever done in your life, and it's going to feel weird. So what we want to keep practicing here is basically can you feel comfortable getting here and like hanging out for a bit? Because it's probably going to be like a little unstable when we're on the high rings, but if you can, um, uh, the cue that I tell people is, is I want them to feel their ribs. Like I want you to jam the rings and your palms against your ribs. Pull the rings into your ribs. So it's sternum, superman, and then I'm ribs, ribs, ribs. Because the wider those rings get, the less stable you're going to be. Sternum, pull through, yeah. Cool. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is no more feet support. But karate chop, wrap, and then I just want you to sit down like in an L-sit position. So this time you're going to be, like, I'm actually dangling, you're, you wait one of me, you might actually sit on the ground a little bit. But I'm completely off the ground, I have my false grip, it's a lot harder to hold. And then from here I want you to do the same thing, just hold up the sternum, so my head is up, sternum, look down. So you can get all the way seven if you can, there you go. Let's keep the rings close, nice. See how they want to go really wide? Yeah. Right, so I want you to literally like knuckle knock, right, try to keep them close, try to keep your elbows close too. Nice. Good. Okay, and I can see like the instability, like that's what we're trying to train out here before we get to the higher. Yeah. Okay, so let's do like one or two more reps there. Again, try to keep those rings super close. And it doesn't have to be fast either. You don't have to rush out of the bottom. Just get the transition. And then once you're here, you're good. You can stabilize it. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Good. But one thing I saw a gap here, right? Yeah. I want you to, I, I'm serious, I want you to like punch your ribs. Why do you think my default is to go wide? Is it because of any form of training I'm doing now, or is it just kind of like the natural, like humanistic, like instinctual thing? It's like I gotta pull through this. Like let yeah. me make some space. So a lot of people, when they like, when it comes to the transition, they're like, these rings are in the way, yeah. and I want to have them go around my body. Interesting. When really, uh, and if, especially if you've done bar muscle ups, right? Bar muscle ups, your your body is going around the bar, right? You yeah. can't go through it. With the rings, what's really unique here is. Like, as I pull up, like, I can go through the rings, right? They're, they're on straps, they can turn, they can be close, and then just, boom, the door opens. So you can very easily go through the rings. Got it. And unfortunately, if you come from a background of, let's say, doing bar muscle-ups, or, or you just haven't, you haven't done many ring dips in your life or whatever, then what happens is a lot of times people want to go really wide. And then that's when you're out here and no one's finishing a muscle-up out here, yeah. right? Or not, none of us are, okay? So... What we're going to do now is I want to actually drop you down a band, or we can go a little bit lower. Let's try, let's try a light band. Nice. Awesome. Okay. The last thing I want to teach you is your head position. So on all of these reps, you have this really healthy band that's getting you up and over, right? You're not going to have that here. It's going to be pure arm strength, which you have. But if you have the arm strength, you're probably not going to have as much velocity. You're not going to have as much speed coming to the rings. One thing that I use to help them get through the transition is I tell them where to look. So basically, like on the pool, as you're pulling up, I want you looking up. Literally, like look up at our overpriced light bulb. Okay. And then once you get the rings to that Superman position, then and only then do I want you looking, like looking for your toes. If you look up, deck. The, the speed and aggression that you'll have just from using your head yeah. as that kind of counterbalance, like you'll amaze yourself how easy you get above the rings. Head up, so looking at the light yep. until you get to the until you get to the turnover, then snap it up. Good. All right. There you go. Now, what did you do? Really wide. All right. So let's try it one more time. See, and hopefully everybody knows that, right? As soon as you transition, you went super wide. If you can do that speed yep. and keep the rings close, it's good money. Oh yeah, love it, love it. The last thing I want to say, the last thing, is I want you to treat it as two different movements. You're treating this as one movement. I want you to treat it as, we'll go over the high rings here. When we get up here, I want you to treat it as one, two. Okay. Okay? I can tell that you're like wanting to finish the dip right away, and that doesn't kill people, but it hurts people, because if you're trying to rush the dip, and you don't have the stability, all you're doing is adding movement to that instability. So, Get above the rings, and then once you're there, 
smile, wink at the camera, hang out, you're fine, finish the dip. The dip's gonna be easy for you. What I don't want you to do is to get over and start trying to dip while you're not stable. So get over, stabilize, finish the dip. Two it. moves. Looking up, looking down. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. The moment of truth is upon us. Where are you looking? Where are you looking? Yes! Oh, oh you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it for sure. What happened? I don't what? Well, what? I felt that I got here and I instantly went here. Because like I think in my sport, in my world, I feel more stable like having a sure. more of a lat pack tension. Yeah. So you're there though, you feel it, right? Alright, cool. So <coughs> Couple other just like bits and pieces. I want you to make it the most explosive pull up you've ever done in your life, right? Like you're you're trying to pull through the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Right. You're trying to pull like 100 pounds and just fly through the ropes. Okay. So do that, and then secondarily, be patient. Like don't look at the ground too early. Go go go! Oh! <laughs> I told you. I told you. That's the first one I've ever done. Under 20 minutes. First one you've ever done. Shake it out. Shake it out, let's get a couple more done. Right. So, so a couple more. Because now they're gonna it's gonna start clicking. That felt good. Heck yeah, dude. That was awesome. All right. So the next thing I want you to do just to just for any of the haters, get your grip and just try to like lift your feet before you pull. Okay. And that way no none of the haters on YouTube will be like, oh he jumped. Stabilize. Yeah, there you go. Still a little wide and wobbly, but yay! Nice. Smooth. I guess you can do muscle ups now, boy. I honestly did not think I was gonna. Oh, said that I, I know I have the strength for it. Yeah. It's just like the whole like I've never been taught the technique. It, there's so yeah. many very focused cross movements that I just have never been taught properly how to do. Yeah. So that was cool. It, amazing. And you made it look good too. Like a couple of those reps are just so. Right? Awesome. Oh yeah. Thanks for having me. That was awesome. I'm so stoked. But oh, wait, we're wait. not done yet. No. We can't be done. It's time for oh. you to learn to ring myself, and I'm not talking to you. Mr. Person on the other side of the camera. I'm literally talking to the person who's holding the camera. Mr. Travis. Mr. Travis, are you Let's ready, bro? Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. All right, so we have swapped roles. So Jake is behind the camera now. He is still just super pumped up from learning multi, how many did you do, like five? Something like that. Something like that, six, seven, I don't know. It was amazing. And now we've switched roles and it's time to walk Travis through the same progression. What you, what you might notice is that I might teach him a little differently depending on the cues. Maybe he doesn't struggle with the wide rings as much. Uh, but one thing we are going to add to the equation is we're going to start with that clock and see if he can beat, what was it, 16 minutes, I think, is, is how long it took. We, we slow played it for, for Jake, but we'll see if Travis can do it in under 16 minutes. So first things first, how many, if you had to guess, how many pull-ups can you do? 10 to 15. 10 to 15, yeah. okay. And then same thing with the rings. Like, on the rings, how many dips do you think you can do? Uh, have you ever done them? I've done ring dips. I've never done like max, like a maximum amount, but ten. Okay, cool. Yeah. I used to, um, I probably can do a good amount of dips. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then let's just, just for the sake of it, I probably should have done this with Jake, but let's just test it out. Um, what I'll have people do sometimes is just demo them being able to do what I call a super deep ring dip. So basically, it's like come up to the top, lower yourself all the way down, like and like try to get your shoulders to touch the rings, and then go back up. Okay. Just show, just like. Show me that you can do that with stability. Your head, there you go. Yeah. So all the way down as low as you can manage. Yep. And then up. Yeah. So the stability there. That's yeah. like, that's that's yeah. gonna be the big one for you, right? So let's let's do a couple of cues for this. So remember what I was talking about the rings was all, all about keeping it close. Yeah. Right. So when you're going down on these, let's do like a couple more warm-up sets. I want you again to think about like try to keep the rings like almost touching your body the entire time. Okay. Especially when you get down low, because any inch of separation is instability. Right. Right. So, so this time when you're dropping down, just get up to the top, maybe hold it. It'll probably feel unstable. Yeah. And then just lower yourself down, try to get as low as you can, trying to prevent the rings from from yeah. wobbling. Because what I'm trying to do is I want to prime you, your body for getting up there and then feeling really unstable on the high rings. Right. Okay. So keep my hands like up against my body. Mm -hmm. Yep. Basically. Yep. Just try to keep it close. You'll probably feel way more stable. There you go. Perfect. Let's uh, practice exactly what we do with Jake with the false grip. Okay. okay. So karate chop, put it right there, grab, and then from here, let's make sure that you get your false grip locked in. And then from here, I just want you to like squat down. Okay. And then we'll just we'll just practice a couple of standing transitions. Okay. Um, so yeah, show me what you got with the false grip. All right. This is where I think I might have some trouble. Okay. Because my wrists are like. All right. So 
In like this? Yep. And then karate chop, so it's sitting right at the crease of your wrist. Okay. Yep. And then grab, wrap your thumb and hand around it like that. Yep. Okay. So basically, it's like the meat of your hand is over the rings. Basically, what we're trying to do is actually get the wrist above this. Okay. Yeah, so there's like there's like the, there's kind of two bones here. So the kind of like nestled in between. Yeah, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Okay. All right, and then from here, just kind of squat down to your toes, get your arms extended, and we'll practice a couple moves. So from here, stand up slowly while pulling yourself up. I want you to like so, actually, so see how this slip. Yeah. So right now, technically, you lost the posture. Yeah. That's All right. So as soon as you went down, um, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that on video, but as soon as he went down, he went from his his like wrist being here to it sliding down to that, and that's a no-go. Like you literally can't do a muscle up, or at least a, a strict muscle up if your false grip slips. So it's like, I'm trying to like, I'm almost trying to like flex my, my biceps, flex my wrist to, to lock that in as strong as possible. There you go. Now from here, pull to your chest like Jake did, so sternum, so pull up with the rings close, and then drive your head through into a dip, and just kind of feel that transition, and then you can lock it out if you want. All right, let's just do a couple of those, but that, that's exactly what it's gonna feel like. So it's yeah. Pull to the chest, which you did a great job. And then I kind of tell people it's like, I just lean forward. That gets me into the base of the dip, and then obviously finish the dip. Okay. All right. So deep false grip, looking good. Yep. Good. All right. Sweet. So let's add in the band. Drop yeah. sit down. All right. Now once you pull up. So when I pull up, I go in like this. Yep. And, and then it'll happen now. And then force it out. And then remember, it's here. Superman. Yeah, there you go. All right, I'm digging that. That was good. That was your first assistant muscle. Yeah. That was good. Now, did exactly what Jake did in the beginning, which was transition and then immediately try to go yeah. to the dip. So what I want you to try, again, is like split up into two movements. It's you get over the rings and then hang out there for a second and then finish the dip. Because when we actually go to the high rings, there's no way you are going to be able to pull yourself and immediately get to the lockout. Yeah. Right? So just try to get Superman to here and then maybe hang out there for a second just okay. to, to stabilize. Nice, and then good. That was nice. Good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yes. Nice. Beautiful. Good. That was really. That was really good. I think that was actually your best rep yet. Yeah. So this time, um, from this position, I'd say, look up at our light. So I'm looking up at the light, and then as soon as I get to here, like as soon as I get the rings to my chest, I'm looking up, looking down. Okay, and it's a fast, it's fast, because as soon as you turn to look down, that's when that transition is happening. Try to get that in mind. So, looking up. Looking down. Yes. Good. So, let's try with the lighter band at the same level. You're, you're doing a good job keeping the race close. Obviously, when we get on the high race, it might be different, but you're doing a good job of that. So, it's almost like you don't need to think about that. But for you, yeah. maintain ball strip and then head. Where's your head looking? Looking up and down. Nice. Beautiful. Fantastic. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> oh, shit. You did it. That's that awesome. awesome. You're going to stand up. From here, I can get to the world's deepest false grip ever. Right? So I can really, really get there. And I have no pressure on it yet. Then what I want you to do is with your legs on the box, lower yourself down to here. And then take your feet off, pull up, and go. Okay. okay? And the reason that is, is like what we're doing is we're reducing... We're giving you a really deep false grip because you're in a position where you can really dig it in, and then we're not putting any pressure on it until the very last minute. You're looking, okay. at, the you're looking at the light, and then you're going to look at the floor. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. So, yeah. You didn't even look Does at the floor. Count? You just looked at me. Yeah, that counts. Right. That counts for sure, right? Yeah. I didn't see anything. Like, I mean, you, did, yeah. you, you like naturally want to do a little bit of a kit, but that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's totally. totally that's totally yeah, okay. That's okay. allowed. Like yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call that a, uh, like a purest strict right. muscle up. Exactly, right. exactly. And that, that little kick gave you the little pop that you needed to get yeah. over that transition. Yeah, dude, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, how awesome was that? So hopefully you left a comment below, and hopefully you guessed correctly and said they're both gonna get it because they both absolutely crushed it. I think Jake now has probably done like eight or nine muscle ups, and Travis is three, four, five, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're crushing it, and I'm super proud of them. Um, like I promised earlier, if you want to learn how to do ring muscle-ups, we actually have a free training guide that I'd like to send you, uh, courtesy of WADREP. Find the link below, uh, or it's wadrep.com slash muscle-ups. It's a free training guide, or if you're really serious about learning muscle-ups, I have a step-by-step -step training program with reps and sets and super in-depth videos like this one. 
that we guarantee will teach you how to do a ring muscle up in eight weeks or less. That's called Muscle Up Madness. You can find the link to that below, or you can join Wad Prep Academy, where you get access to all of our courses. So there's a lot of links below. You should go click all of them. Guys, can you give me just like one takeaway? I know we talked a lot during the video. Um, let's, we'll start with you, Jake. What is one of the biggest lessons or keys that you learned today? Like, what was the thing that made everything click? Technique over muscle. Technique over muscle. What's, is, was there any specific technique? Yeah, so like the keeping it close, right? So it's like, I know I'm strong enough to do muscle ups in a bar like these, but with this, it's like the moment you get wide, you are done. Yep. So it's keeping these technical cues and then also trying to simplify them like you helped me with. Yeah. That was key. Awesome. Key. Love it. How about you? What was like, what were like one or two, like, oh my gosh, that was, that was the key. The big thing for me is pulling with my wrists, not my hands. Mm. The false grip, I started, I was trying to grab the ring mm -hmm. while putting the weight on my wrist, and that's just impossible. Yep. So it's like, it's it's hanging from your actual wrist, not your fingers. That, that was the big one. And what's so cool is I've never heard anyone say that, but like yeah. now I'm definitely going to use that in a lot of my coaching, because awesome. that is exactly what it is. So I hope you like this video. I know this was different content than usual. What do you want me to teach them next? Or maybe, what do you want them to teach me next? Just leave a comment below. Let us know the reaction from this video, just anything. Uh, and I'll be reading every single one of them. He'll probably hop in from his channel and read every single one of them. We'll give you some commentary, and we'd love to know, what do you want us to do next? Maybe he'll teach me how to do a backflip. He was teasing that earlier, and that's something I'm terrified of. So maybe the coach becomes the coach. I'll see you next week. Bye. Go, go, go! Ah!